I studied uh, commercial photography at OU, and that was kind of going to be my career. Um, it's very hands-on in the studio, building sets, kind of creating your own image as opposed to journalistic photography where you're going out there, finding the scene, kind of capture, capturing the essence of the moment. So just all that hands-on work within the studio, doing food photography, fashion, portraiture, really manipulating the sets kind of led me to um, what I'm doing today. Once I got my first macro lens is really when um, I was inspired to go in and kind of create my own process and create my own um, images. I've always been interested in the old school processes. I do collect antique cameras and um, I have manipulated film in the past, just cutting up the film and trying to fit them into cameras. Right now I'm using uh, 120 format for um, the particular body of work that I'm using right now and um, it really captures, you know, the essence of, you know, what I'm shooting as far as the color. Um, the contrast um, and just that depth you just don't get that depth um, with digital as you do film it would be a lot easier and a lot cheaper for me to do but it just wouldn't be the same image the whole concept is um, what would sound um, sound be like in the visual form and kind of bringing that to life I think that's something that's hasn't been um, you know widely observed so um, just listening to music, listening to live bands that come through, um, picking up on a bass line, a rhythm, um, any element of music often inspires it, you know. You hear something um, rich and warm like jazz, you tend to lean to like warm colors, or if you hear something kind of raw, you, hit, you um, move towards more of kind of a sterile look or something dark. So, um, yeah, it's really music that um, inspires all of this. And, just kind of manipulating the, the liquid to kind of take on the form that you feel. I'm in a really tight knit art community right now. Um, every Monday we get together, the artists that I work with, and we just share ideas, share our artwork with each other, share any processes. And I feel that, you know, there's a strong bond between the artists in San Diego. And, you know, because of that bond, it's really expanding and people are going beyond, you know, with the, the average piece of artwork in, in San Diego, we're producing so much more. We're looking at different subject matter, looking at different processes. I love being an artist in San Diego and I, I don't think I want to be anywhere else doing it.